Hi, my name is Diane Blair Hickey, and I'm going to be spending the next 10 minutes or so telling you about a fabulous trip that Stephanie Reynolds is hosting to China on October 28, 2017. You may be thinking, if Stephanie is hosting the trip, why am I talking about it? Well, the reason is, is because I was in China last December, and Stephanie asked me to talk about my experiences. Stephanie is exceedingly experienced at leading tour groups, having just completed leading her 20th tour. Along with Stephanie, there will be tour guides that speak English and who will explain the local culture and give an insider's perspective. The trip Stephanie's put together includes international air from Chicago, inter-China air, 11 meals, entrance fees, English speaking guides, and much more for the amazing price of $13.99 per person. Your trip will include four major cities in China, Beijing, Shanghai, Suzhou, and Hangzhou with an optional trip to Xi'an. After your overnight flight, you'll arrive in Beijing in the evening. After a good night's sleep at your four-star hotel, your first adventure will be to the Great Wall of China. The Great Wall is not actually one wall, but a series of fortifications that were built along the northern borders of China. The sections of the Great Wall that you will see were built by the Ming Dynasty, which is between 1368 and 1644. It is made with bricks and features many tall watchtowers. The wall is steep and the steps are uneven, but the experience and the view is worth the effort. There are places to rest along the way. However, if you opt not to hike, you can admire the wall from the parking lot while shopping from the vendors that line the perimeter. From the watchtowers along the wall, there are openings from which you can look out at other sections of the wall as well as admire the spectacular scenery. Here's an insider tip. If you make it to the gift shop, there's a shortcut through the back that the locals use to bring supplies. While it is less scenic, it is also a less strenuous trip down. It's likely that this is how you'll feel after your Great Wall trek, so your next stop will be a break for lunch. After lunch, you'll be taken to a date jade shop and museum. I'm going to insert a note here. There will be scheduled shopping stops on this tour, and these stops are responsible in part for the fantastic price of this trip because the shop owners paid a, v a fee to have tourist buses visit their stores. While you're under no obligation to buy anything, you may be tempted because the prices are great. The stores will also have demonstrations, making the stops interesting, even if you don't buy anything. This plate was in the jade store and was carved from one piece of jade. We were able to see the artists carve these creations through a window as they were working. The next stop will be Beijing's most famous square, Tiananmen Square, the largest public square in the world and also the entrance to the Forbidden City, which houses the Imperial Palace. The Forbidden City was the Chinese Imperial Palace for almost 500 years until 1912. It served as the ceremonial and political center of the Chinese government. As home to the Chinese emperors who were considered godlike, there are over 9,000 rooms with ornate details inside and out. Pictured here is a dragon-headed downspout that, when it rains, spouts water from its mouth. The roofs are decorated with intricate tiles. The higher the status of the person, the more figures there are. Complex design made from real gold also grace the building's walls. As you can see, each individual tile figure always faces outward and is a work of art in and of itself. Even the walkways are made using rounded river rocks for, and form beautiful designs and were created in such a way that when the emperor walked on them, they would massage his feet. The emperor's garden is adorned with massive rocks that were carried to the palace from hundreds of miles away and were valued for their unique shapes. This rock is so massive that it's higher than the roof and I couldn't even get the whole rock in the picture. Hutongs are a type of narrow street or alleyway commonly associated with Beijing. 
In the past, Beijing was composed of hundreds of courtyards around the Forbidden City, and these lanes stretched out in all four directions, connecting the city's courtyards. The lanes form an interconnecting maze that the local people are able to keep in touch with their neighbors. Many of these homes have been in the same families for generations. Because the lanes are so narrow, bicycles and motorcycles are common forms of transportation. However, you'll be touring on a rickshaw with an experienced driver to ensure that you don't get lost. Next, you'll fly to Shanghai. Your first stop will be the Old Street, which is an ideal place to discover what Shanghai was like in the old days. The western section is filled with Ming and Qing-style architecture dating from 1368 to 1644. Black tiles and whitewashed walls, red columns and upturned eaves showcase the style of old Shanghai. Along the street, you'll find hundred-year-old stores and shops. Next, you'll be transferred to nearby Suxiao, which dates to 514 BC. <clears throat> Visit the famous lingering garden with its round moon gates that frame the garden entrances. As a classical Chinese garden and a UNESCO World Heritage Site, there are many beautiful rocks and ponds to appreciate as you meander the winding pathways. In addition to its stunning gardens, Suzhou has been famous for its silk trade for centuries. See firsthand the process of silk manufacturing and how the cocoons are immersed in water to separate the strands and then spun into threads. Hangzhou is one of seven ancient capitals of China. Take a boat ride on West Lake and appreciate the natural beauty of the willow draped islands. Since Hangzhou has been known for its green tea, you will also visit the Green Tea Village and experience the tea tasting before heading back to nearby Shanghai. In Shanghai, you'll visit the famous and picturesque Bund. The Hangpu River divides Shanghai into eastern and western sections. The eastern side has traditional European architecture and the western side has ultra-modern architecture. Stephanie has made sure to include that a tour to the fascinating and ancient 1,700-year-old water city of Zhuzhou Zhou is included in your tour. See local Chinese as they live their daily lives where paved streets are pedestrian walkways and canals are used as highways. This is a unique opportunity to see where modern and traditional culture live side by side, as you can see by the Starbucks tucked in with the old buildings. If you prefer, instead of touring Zhuzhou Zhou, you have the option to fly to Xi'an to see the world famous terracotta soldiers. The former capital of China, Xi'an has a rich history of over 5,000 years. In 221 BC, Xin Shi Huang unified China and became the first emperor. Before he died, he had an entire terracotta army constructed to be buried along with him. When the statues were completed, the emperor ordered the workers to be killed so the statues would be kept secret. However, word got out and the workers destroyed the statues after removing the weapons to defend themselves. The tedious work of reassembling the statues is ongoing in all three pits. The figures were discovered in 1974 by local farmers. Each face is unique and the features vary in height according to their roles. Estimates are that the three excavation pits contain more than 8,000 soldiers, 130 chariots with 520 horses, and 150 cavalry horses, the majority of which remain buried. The Xi'an option is a same-day tour and is an additional $5.99 per person and includes round-trip airfare from Shanghai, transfers, and the entrance fees to the site. A visa is needed for China and your passport must be valid for six months after the end of your trip. The visa fee is $199 per person. 
Chinese visas can be very complicated, so we use a visa service to ensure things will go as smoothly as possible. As I previously mentioned, this trip is for the amazing price of $13.99 per person, which is almost the same price of airfare alone. The space is limited and will sell out quickly, so don't miss out. The deposit is $300 and the balance is due on or before September 22nd. Call or email Stephanie to ensure your trip of a lifetime for a once in a lifetime price. Shei Shei, which means thank you in Chinese.